What's up and welcome back to Cleats to Whistle Podcast. We are actually going to do player profiles for Fort Knox. These two are, are here. They actually been balling out right now. Uh, they actually look pretty physical out there. Uh, they're low numbers, but like we always do, we're going to go. I bet, guess we'll go from right to left. All right, so we'll go first, second, all right, and then just your name, your 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 position, and your year. All right. My name is Ethan LaForm. I play right guard and nose tackle, and I am a senior this year. Isaiah Morrison, I'm a senior as well. Uh, I'm our starting quarterback, and I kick and punt a little bit as well. Oh, okay, so you do a lot of stuff, man. So do you. You play both sides of the ball, man. Yep. Grinders. All right, all right. Just, just be yourself, man. Don't, don't take nothing serious, man, and just go with it. Uh, but the first question I'm going to ask, man, is for you guys to shout out your support systems, man. You know what I mean? Shout your mom and dad, whoever, you know what I mean, that, that, that supports you. Yeah, well, for me, I mean, yeah, like you said, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything without my mom and dad. Uh, they got me everywhere. Um, I wouldn't be here without them. Uh, I'd like to thank Coach Arnold as well, who was our former head coach. Uh, now that we have Mike Reed, he's great. But you know, Coach Arnold was who we've been under the last three years, and he really, he really helped us both out a lot. I feel like, uh, and I think Coach Reed's doing a great job now too. So I'd also like to shout out Coach Reed. And I just wanted to shout out my mom. You know, it's really hard because right now my dad is overseas in Iraq, and so juggling all this stuff with sports and school in my senior year, I really just got to give a great shout out to her and all the friends and family. You know, today I got. Three people from Michigan coming down to uh, just come watch out and see me ball. Okay, okay, yeah, it's great support systems, man. Great support systems. And now uh, I always ask that you know because you guys are student athletes. If if I was a recruiter and I came in, what would your transcript say about you? Well, honestly, he's like one of the smartest guys in the school. Like uh, I'm sure he he's gonna deny it because he's real humble, but. I don't know what, 3.9, 4.0 GPA, he's real smart. Yeah, 4.0. Yeah, 4.0. I'm sitting with like a 3.5, so um, I'm, I'm decently up there. I'm um, going to try to grind grind this last the last year to get it up as much as I can because, you know, every every point on GPA matters, and I don't take anything for granted. I try not to, and, uh, you know, grades are the most important thing. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, 4.0, uh, probably not the highest up here like this guy thinks, but uh, we're both in JROTC. We're – in senior positions, he's the S3, and I'm the battalion XO. And then I'm just in a bunch of other stuff like baseball, bowling, and powerlifting. So, okay, okay. Yeah. And, and do you guys see yourself as leaders of this football team? Uh, yeah, because last year the big problem was we didn't have, like, set leaders. And so it's really nice to have people step in, like me and Isaiah, and try and take control and try and, you know, make a tempo for the team yeah. and a big thing I try to I try to challenge myself with too is leaders don't always lead from the front you have to be able to lead from the front lead from the back lead from wherever you are what position whatever position you're in and like you can't just force everyone to do all the all the bad work you know you got to be able as a leader you got to be able to clean stay extra clean up the field you know help others out you know you can't always be ordering them around and that's what I always challenge myself with it's, there you go so you guys are you're basically a vocal leader and, and a show me guy man you know what I mean? And that's that military, you know, upbringing to, for you guys, or, or is it just that's who you guys are? Yeah, that's just how my parents taught me how to be, you know, lead by example. Yeah. Lead by example. That's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Shout out to the parents, man. That's awesome. And, and how do you feel about this team this season? Really good. It's got a lot of potential. You know, it, the guys are a lot younger, but, you know, that means that you can build a lot off of them. You know, there's a lot of potential that you just need to tap into. I feel I feel really confident, especially with our schedule coming into this year. Um, our schedule last year is, is a little tougher. Um, we've got some teams that I really feel like we can we can dig into the ground this year, and uh, and it all just comes down to execution. And I think the guys out here have the talent and the ability to do so. And under especially under Coach Reed's influence, he's doing a great job getting our mindset right. And you know we're just trying to flip that Fort Knox mindset of. You know, Fort Knox has been known for the last five, six years to just quit, give up, hang our heads, and we're flushing that down the toilet this year. So it doesn't matter what the score is, doesn't matter who's up, who's down, we're fighting. There we go. I love it. I love it, man. You guys are juice just like your coach, man, yeah. and that fires me up. Now, do you guys have any personal goals for yourself? What about you? Uh, well, last year I got 30 solo tackles, and so I want to go for 40, you know, shoot for the moon, and then, you know, maybe get another safety. 
You know, uh, that would uh, always look good. Okay. So, for me, I man, for the last oh, two or three years, I've been trying to break that 1,000 passing yards. My sophomore year, I came the closest. I was like about 9.30-ish, and uh, a concussion kept me because I was, I was out two games that year. I, I think if I didn't get that concussion, I would have broke it. So, hopefully, I get over 1,000 passing yards, maybe 10, 11 touchdowns would be great. Okay, and, and a couple more questions. A couple more questions. I know you guys are, are rocking and rolling. Uh, what's your favorite uh, memory playing playing football? Mm. I'm gonna have to say that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. But I'm gonna have to say my sophomore year, man. Fort Campbell. Fort Campbell is our big rival. Oh, yeah. uh, it, we call it the Army Bowl. We play for this huge trophy every year. And man, they came to our house. They had a big banner. They were super disrespectful. And I forgot their banner was like Fort Knox. Your your mom called. You let they left your game at home or something. And we walked out of there beating those jokers forty to nothing. Nice. And it felt great. But nice. Yeah. Man, I, I shouldn't have let him go first, you know, because he just took it straight from me. But uh, you know, they disrespected us uh, last year, and so we just gotta disrespect them this year. Okay. And it was one of my questions was. What team are you most excited to play? You guys just basically answered that question. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Fort Campbell, and then it would I would say Holy Cross, but they they mixed up our uh, our districts this year because we had a big rivalry going with Holy Cross. Oh okay, so real disrespectful towards us. So, but we, unfortunately, we don't play them again. Nice. And, and uh, what other sports do you guys play? So I play baseball. That's like. The only other sport I've played in recently. Okay. Um, and I intend. I'm trying to go to college, play baseball. That's my favorite sport. So. And then for me, uh, in the winter, I do bowling and I do powerlifting. And then in the spring, I switch it up and then uh, managing for baseball. And that was pretty fun. Okay. X Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Xbox. Oh my God, these guys. Oh my God, I was liking you guys up until now, man. Oh, you guys on. just ruined it. Man, we're okay. Say Xbox. Your, yeah. your favorite fast food. Man, this is a hard one. You better say it. If you don't say what I think, what I'm thinking, <laughs> what? we're gonna have problems. Taco Bell, Chick Fil A. What? No, Taco Bell is so much better. What's your order at Taco Bell? Uh, usually I get like a. Oh my God, what is it called? A. Uh, no, nah, I don't get a 12 pack. The, the family pack. Get, <laughs> no, you know, I basically just get the whole menu. You know, I'm, I'm <laughs> what do you get at Chick Fil A? What's your order? You gotta get the spicy sandwich, no pickles, large fries. A frosted lemonade, and you got to get like six honey mustards. Put the honey mustards on the sandwich, shake it up in the bag, and then put the sandwich <laughs> back on the bread. Best thing ever. There you go, man. This is Player Profiles. We're here at J Town, and this is the five team scrimmage. These cats are from uh, Fort Knox, man. Uh, you guys are you guys are amazing, man. Uh, I hope I hope nothing but the best for you guys for for the season, uh, uh, man. Cleats to whistle podcast, and like I always say, their journey, their story is just being written. I can't wait to see what the next chapter says. Cleats to Whistle podcast. <laughs>